Chase Minifield could be playing in the NFL this season, but decided to return to Charlottesville, and Virginia is certainly glad he did. He has bolstered the Cavs' defense with 42 tackles and three interceptions, including this pick six against Duke last week. But his coach says Minifield has meant so much more to his team and his community. The thing I'll say about Chase is that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm big in community service, you know, the aspect of the players giving back. And when you look at our team, I think he's number one or number two on our team in personal appearances. And so when you look at a guy, what a student athlete looks like, um, how a student athlete conducts itself, I mean, how he prepa prepares for a game, and that's, that's Chase Minifield. Minifield knows what it takes to make it in the NFL. He's had a pretty good influence in that department. His dad, Frank, was named to the NFL's all-decade team for the 1980s. As a four-time Pro Bowl cornerback with the Browns, he helped coin the name for the famed Dog Pound, and more importantly, had an impact on his son. If I tell you something, he's probably come from him. Uh, so my dad, he, he's been very influential on me, and uh, he's pushed me. I've worked hard. He's taught me how to work hard. Um, when I was at my downest time, he's brought me up. Um, you know, he's, he's just he's just always believed in me and uh, given me the motivation that that I could always do it like, just like he did it. Minifield will soon be following in his father's footsteps to the NFL. He could have left after last season, but decided to return to Charlottesville to polish his game and be a leader to these young calves. I always know that I can get better every day, and that's why I come. That's why I wake up every day with the attitude to get better. Um, I've never been a guy that's going to settle. Um, and one of the reasons why I just decided to come back was is that I, I got a belief in myself that I can be a first-round pick, and uh, I wasn't going to settle for being anything less. It, it has the benefit of having a father, Frank Minifield, that uh, you know was, is a great NFL player in his own right. So there's a work ethic that uh, Chase has brought uh, you know, to this team that uh, he's been a leader by, by example. Now, Frank played in two of the most heartbreaking losses in NFL history, the 1987 AFC Championship game where he fell victim to the drive and the following year lost to the Broncos again on the fumble. Two games that are taboo in Cleveland and in the Minifield household. We've talked about it. Um, he always notes to me that uh, somebody else gave up that pass besides him. Uh, but uh, I'm not allowed to watch that game in my house on ESPN Classic. <laughs> Chase can't erase those bad memories for dad, but he is creating new ones for the old man with his play at Virginia and soon on Sundays in the NFL, where maybe, just maybe, he could be drafted by the Browns and play in front of the same fans his dad helped make famous. Paul Boron for CST Tonight.